Hello, bonjour. Today I'm reviewing the Huion Inspiroy H610X. It's a budget-friendly, medium-sized and screenless tablet. I'll be testing the durability of the tablet's overlay, the pressure sensitivity of its stylus, and focusing exclusively on the hardware. So, while you'll see me exclusively using Linux and Krita in this review, I think it's still useful to look at it if you plan to use it with something else. But you might be wondering why I'm reviewing this one. Well, after recently reviewing large display tablets for a different budget, I wanted to go back to my roots and test more affordable options, similar to the tablet I used when I first started digital painting. In fact, I've already explored this concept in a previous video for another brand. So, in the same vein, in this video, Huion kindly provided me with the hardware for free. But I want to emphasize that this review is not sponsored or paid for. I'm doing it on my free time and I'm free to express whatever I want here. I do this kind of review mainly to gather valuable data to share with Linux developers, uh, which will hopefully help to improve support for devices like this in the future. And one last thing, I'm not going to talk about the setup on Linux in this video, including what works, what doesn't work. Uh, I'll cover all of that along with setup tips and useful links in a blog post and you'll find the link in the video description. That way I can easily update its content later. So what do we have in the box? First we've got a nicely printed box and inside it we will directly have the tablet inside a plastic bag. And directly under the tablet, we will have another bag with the USB-C to USB-A main cable, a quick manual, the stylus of the device, a pen holder that you can open to reveal the extra stylus nibs, and finally a little bag with two USB adapters, one USB-A to USB-C, and the other one micro USB to USB A. And that's all. So to give you an idea about the size of the device, I put some familiar object on the top and we have roughly here a size of a A4 sketchbook. So it's ideal to put on your backpack. The device itself is very slim. We have here on the side the USB-C port and all the edges of the device are very rounded. We have also this texture on the back and the rubber feet. All in all, it's a good looking device. So I try to record the sound of the overlay so you can get a better idea of uh, its surface and also the sound of the button. They sound like cheap plastic. On a design point of view, we will have a very different experience uh, between right-handed people than uh, the left-handed people because as you can see for left-handed, uh, when you flip the device, you will get this long cable on the side and that's not really aesthetic for them. About the stylus, we have here one without any eraser tip on the other side and two side buttons. We have a very classic tip with removable nibs and in overall we have a shape that is very similar to the competition. No battery, uh, if you come from something else you will be totally at ease with this one. The pen holder does its job and there is nothing to say about it. For the size of the active surface we have here a A5 landscape format roughly and uh, I will write the exact measurement on the screen right now. It's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So I kept this device connected to my main workstation for 16 hours or so and made probably three artwork from scratch with it so I can give you some feedback about the quality of drawing with it. The overall drawing experience with this device is very good. 
I will let here a little segment of drawing with sound and uh, at normal speed so you can get an idea about uh, what to expect in terms of precision. I'm drawing here on a Quaid HD display. It's a 24 inch display and uh, as you can see I need to zoom in the artwork quite a bit to get uh, enough room to make thin line but I have no problem into making them. I really like it how I could control the pressure sensitivity of the stylus and also how the tilt of the stylus was designed. I had no problem in using them and the overlay surface was doing its job. And also a note about the sound of the stylus and more precisely this little click at the end of an accent. As you can hear it's pretty specific and even if many tablets do it, this one does it quite uh, more louder than usual. So after that I decided to use my kitchen scale to measure the pressure sensitivity and get a, a ratio between the weight in gram and the pressure sensitivity in Krita. It's uh, the Krita tester here on the settings and once I had a video I could report all this data on a table and build a simple graph. So the good things is 440 gram for the maximum pressure it's very good and the curve is very linear so we have a very proportional uh, weight on the stylus compared to the pressure it's very good and then i decided to test the solidity or the durability of the overlay surface and i was able to scratch it with uh, about any metal object on my desk uh, especially the knife here. So as you can see I could leave some very deep scratch so be careful if you wear a bracelet or a ring on your finger because yeah, this leaves some deep scratch. I also tried the drill test but uh, I quickly found that this test was a bit useless because with this test I wasn't able to scratch it and however after just 15 hours of drawing on the device uh, I was able to just have a lot of little scratch on it uh, with the stylus tip. So this overlay is definitely not solid. So in conclusion I want to come back on all the things I like about this tablet the price of course because it's budget friendly uh, the fact that it's light and slim in the backpack and you can take it everywhere um, the fact that it's precise also because i was able to use it with a large monitor and the pressure sensitivity and tilt that are excellent uh, and also in overall the simplicity of the device because you have just a usb-c you plug it and that's all on another hand, we have here also a device with a very fragile overlay surface. If I was able to scratch it in three artwork, I can't imagine after one year what it become. And we have also a noisy stylus and cheap plastic buttons. And I also want to note here a bad design in overhaul for the left-handed users. So all in all, we have here a tablet that is definitely not the best in its own category but that is a very good tablet for making artwork anyway. Uh, if you can solve the issue with the overlay surface, uh, with the protection or with something, it can be excellent. That's all for this video. I'll continue to post update and eratum on the blog post and you will find the link in the description. And uh, yeah, see you later. Bye bye.